Congressional Budget Office just released its scorecard on the new Republican health care bill that won the past a few weeks ago. Let's go back to CNN's Phil Mattingly, who's on Capitol Hill for us. And Phil, I know you're just uh, reviewing the document right now, but give us the highlights. So the top line I think that everybody's going to focus on, first and foremost, 23 million people would become uninsured over the course of a 10-year period because of the House Health Care Bill Act. Now, that's actually a 1 million uh, person increase than what we saw in terms of people that would maintain insurance from the original bill. That bill had the number at 24 million. Now, for purely procedural reasons, the other key number everybody was paying attention to is the amount of deficit reduction. In order for this bill to actually even move over to the Senate, they needed to save at least $2 billion over the course of a 10-year period. This bill saves $119 billion, according to the CBO. So, at least procedurally, everything is good to go. This bill will move over to the Senate. House leaders have actually been holding on to the bill the last couple of weeks in wait for this number. But again, the top-line number, again, which I think is most noteworthy and everybody is going to be talking about and Democrats are certainly going to attack on, 23 million people over a 10-year period would lose access to insurance because of the bill, and I think it's noteworthy, obviously. Republicans say very clearly, Jake, that they don't believe the CBO models reflect conservative policy. They don't believe the CBO models uh, are an accurate assessment of where their bill would actually be based on the changes that they're trying to implement here. But there's no question about it. This was a damaging number when this number first came out in March, that 24 million number, particularly for moderates. So as this heads over to the Senate now, this will certainly be a headline that everybody's paying attention to.